So I kind of did a thing very impulsively, very last minute. I ended up catching a flight to Vegas. And we're out here at RE+. We're a little early in the morning right now. We've got about an hour before we can actually get into the exhibits and everything. But I'm just here wandering around. And look who I ended up running into. Say hi, Rodney. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> there you go, Rodney. Yeah, use that, <laughs> use that QR code. <laughs> So it should be a fun day, should be a fun couple of days, wandering around at RE+. Day one kicked off fast. Walking through the entrance, the energy in the halls hit me right away. So many people everywhere. Booths packed, shoulder to shoulder. It didn't take long before I ran into Logan from Midnight Solar, Joe and his wife, Eric and Rodney, which was a great way to start the day. And this is where it really hit me. This really wasn't one hall, but multiple halls, multiple floors, all filled with vendors and products. You can't walk 10 feet without spotting something that grabs your attention. From panels to components, from the smallest connectors to massive displays, it was all here. Some of these companies I've heard of, others I've never even seen before, but that's part of what makes a show like this exciting. You don't really know what's around that next corner. The booths ranged from huge polished displays to small setups that you could walk past in just a few seconds. But every one of them had something unique that they wanted to offer. Of course, some familiar names stood out like Victron, always solid gear and always exciting to see what they're showcasing. Mr. Cool is one that a lot of people in the DIY community are curious about. And of course, EG4 has a big presence. This booth drew a lot of attention, not just from customers, but also from us YouTubers. Always fun when the online crowd meets up in real life. Well, it's day three of the conference, day two for me. And yesterday was really one of those days where you're just trying to take it all in because there's just so much to see. I mean, multiple buildings, multiple conference spaces, thousands of vendors, tens of thousands of people easily. I think the number that I heard was like 60,000 people. Could be more, I don't know. I probably ran into every single one of them. But I did end up uh, seeing some familiar faces, which was kind of fun. Lots to do, lots to cram in. I mean, I'm only here for two days and it's just gonna end up being a blur but looking forward to a new day and seeing what else we can look at today. You look around here and there's just so much to see. I mean, over off in the distance, you can see LG. We can see if we pan around over here, we've got EG4's booth in the back. They've got some new stuff coming out. I need to get over and see Blue Eddie. I need to go and try and see if Anchor's here. You know, some of these companies that I've worked with in the past, I wanna, wanna see what new stuff they've got coming out. I mean, there's Tesla booth. I see a SMA further down. A lot of names that I recognize, but even so many names that I don't recognize at all. It uh, really can be quite overwhelming. Just trying to keep track of even where you are. But it's it's enjoyable. I mean, even for me, a guy that doesn't like to uh, be in crowds and be around that many people, it, uh, it still is fun. I think it's fun getting to, to meet folks that you might have talked to over email, even from these different companies that I've worked with. Uh, support wise, you know, you get to see a name tag and you're like, hey, I've, I've emailed with you before or I've talked with you before. It's still fun to, to wander around and to see what else is out there. And Tesla's got all their stuff here and they even brought their little robot deal. Well, it was fun being able to hang out with 
Rodney and Eric a little bit. Last night we were able to hang out with uh, Average Joe and then Evan from Country View Solar as well. Had some dinner with them. Got to see some more folks today. Walking around, got Solar, more stuff. I think they have an 18K coming out this year, which will be interesting to see. One thing I really noticed was the variety. You'd go from traditional solar and battery setups to companies like Honda showing backup solutions, electric cars, to Blue Eddy bringing out their latest lineup. It felt like every booth had a slightly different take on the same problem. How to give people more control over their energy. Well, my wife will be sad that she missed this because they have sheep here. Even with companies like GrowWatt and Solar Ever, you get a glimpse of just how global this industry has become. Everybody's racing to innovate. They even had their own live podcast going during the show, capturing conversations right there on the floor. And because it's Vegas, they of course had a little fun on the side. What's a solar conference without bull riding? Only at RE+. By the end of the two days, I was exhausted, but in the best possible way. The trip pushed me out of my comfort zone, but I came home with a list of ideas and a camera full of footage. What excites me the most isn't just what I saw at the booths, but the chance to get my hands on some of these products as they hit the market. And if I get that chance, I'll be sharing those tests and reviews here on the channel as we keep moving closer to going fully off-grid.